All right, let's talk about the admissions reporting capabilities in TAM. First thing I want to point out is there are a number of uh, reports that are available in admissions. We're going to talk about those in just a few minutes. But I do want to point out that there are some standard sales type and uh, movement type reporting that are available. TAM has over a hundred some reports by module. The first basic sales report I want to show you is the daily totals report. This can be run for a day, a week, a month, a year. It can be run from a Wednesday to a Wednesday. It can be run from November to February. There's no calendar boundaries. TAM stores all of its data granularly and chronologically within the system. It never purges any data, but you can purge data when you want. So it's up to you. All right, first thing I want to point out is we'll just run this report by uh, for today, and this is our daily totals report. You can preview any report, email it with security, I mean, as long as you've been authorized to do that, and you can print it to any printer. We're going to preview this report on the screen here. You can see that the daily totals report is a basic sales report that shows tender information by register or operation. It shows sales taxes that were collected where applicable. It shows any admissions or donations. Uh, by department are broken out on the report and again this would include all the departments within the organization. It shows um, any member discounts or coupons or anything that's affected those retail sales. And then we've got some basic uh, customer count and average sale data. Okay. Uh, the daily totals report again can be run for any period of time. It can be run by business unit, so you can filter it by location. You can run it by associate or register. If we want a little bit more detailed reporting, we could go into a program called SKU Movement. SKU Movement allows us to see not only the total number of uh, admissions tickets we've sold, but it allows us to uh, see on a detailed level what events were sold, what types of tickets were sold. So we can see general admission, our park pass, um, our, our camps and educational programs, and even our, our events like our tram tours and things like that. These are revenue tracking units, uh, tickets, so that they're going to see all the revenues on this report. Not going to track any inventory or anything like that. Doesn't need to. Um, the system does that for merchandise, but we'll talk about that in a different session. Don't forget that the reports can be filtered in any way that you'd like, so you can run this uh, again uh, for a specific department or category. Uh, and you're also able to export out all of the reporting as well. You're also able to export out the reporting at any time to any other office application. So we could export this to Excel or, or anything that we like. Again, we'll talk about that in other sessions. So that's the basic reporting. Don't forget we also have things like Cash Register Journal that's going to allow us to see uh, each and every transaction that's been processed on a detailed level, whether it's merchandise or admissions or whatever. There's a great audit trail. Kind of think of it as the magnetic version of the receipt tape. Okay, that's the basic sales reporting. Now in just a second, we're going to go into some of the specific admissions reporting that's available. So you've got a whole list here. We're going to talk about some of the more common ones in just a second. Okay, let's go through some of the admissions reporting that we have available specifically in that module. The first one we're seeing here is a ticket sales summary report. This is going to help us show and group by different methods all of the tickets that we've sold, uh, revenues that have been collected, units sold, percentage of total on both units and revenue. Um, to, so that's a basic report. Let's take a look at the program event revenue report. Again, this is more of a program or event based or grouping, but it will also show the detailed tickets that have been sold, not just the number of tickets, but what classes, adult, child, senior. It'll break out units and revenue. Okay. The next report we want to take a brief look at here is the session attendance sold by sold to. So we have a report here that are going to allow us to see who's purchased the tickets with all the sold to information on them uh, and groups it by that. Then we have our tickets accrued sales report. This is for uh, any accounting that you need to do for reversing out revenues that may have been collected online or uh, through the customer facing areas for tickets that have been purchased in uh, future months. Uh, so that's a, a great report to have to see those accrued sales broken out clearly. Now when we get to a session or um, uh, 
kind of who's coming today report. Well, one of them is our uh, event session manifest report. This will show any uh, uh, will calls for tickets that maybe have balances, show any sales of tickets that have been done in customer facing or on the web. It's going to break out the number and any balances that are due and show any customer or contact information as well. And then we have our unredeemed tickets report. This unredeemed ticket report is just what it says it is. It gives us an ability to see any tickets that are unredeemed for an event. Uh, this could be useful if we're trying to return a ticket or something like that, so it's an easy way to look up an actual ticket number that might be in the system. And then when we get into a participant-based events, we have a participation, a participants listing. Obviously, we're collecting all that data, whether it be on the web or in the customer-facing areas. We're going to want to be able to print a list of those recipients and even maybe export out their email addresses or things like that to communicate with them about the event. Uh, all of that can be done through the participants list here. You can see a very detailed report. And then the final report that we're going to see is the bundled ticket analysis again so we can see any bundled tickets that have been sold for any type of accounting that we need to do because we may need to post revenues to various spots in the bundled tickets um, even though they're sold as one item. Okay, well, those are just some of the reports that are available in the uh, in the admission system for TAM. There's many, many more. An account rep would be happy to provide you with a link so that you can see how each report can be selected or grouped and sorted by. A in just a minute, we're going to talk a little bit about being very proactive. I mean, running reports is great. See what's going on. But let's be very proactive with some dashboards and alerts, and we'll do that in just a second. Okay, as, as we just viewed, there's a lot of great reports in the admission system that can be either viewed on screen, emailed with security and, and again approval, and the ability to even uh, print them to any printer on the network and share them with other office applications. But what about real-time reporting? Something that can tell us what's really going on today. Um, you can see here that we've got a great dashboard that's available for the admissions and we can view this either by tickets sold, which is what I'm looking at right now, and it's going to show us gauges, things like total admissions, revenue, average ticket, paid admissions, paid revenues, and so on. And these these uh, dials are going to be colored to indicate how our day is going. So anything in the green means we're exceeding uh, averages. Anything in yellow means we're within our average uh, for the operation since we've been using TAM. And we also have the capability to see red dials that are below average or that are, in the case of like discounts, might be higher than average but still uh, less uh, desirable. Um, even things like complimentary admissions and unredeemed. And then we've got a hour-by-hour hour graph of how many tickets have been sold. And at the bottom, we can do a ton of filtering so we can look at different date ranges or different periods of time. We can zero in on specific business units, registers within a business unit, uh, applications, event types, much, much more. So we can be very, very specific to this. Now, this is something that's free from TAM. So if we were to close the TAM window, we can can actually pin this to our desktop and it will update real time and can be refreshed at any time. So again, th that dashboard is a great capability uh, in TAM to allow us to do that. Now we can even get more proactive with a, with a thing called alerts in TAM. We have the capability to do alerts throughout the system and we can establish anyone in our organization who should receive an alert. There's no limit to the number of people. We can put in their name, email address, and their mobile contact information and we can alert them either by email or obviously by text messages. Now the alerts come in a lot of different flavors. Uh, they come in, in customer service, fraud and operations. But for example, fraud would be important. So excessive discounts at the register, excessive no sales, excessive training, uh, excessive voids, refunds, anything like that can be triggered uh, based on parameters that you set up in the system, thresholds that you're concerned about. And then as soon as one of these things happen, boom, off goes an alert immediately. Uh, even in the uh, customer service area, we can, we, I'm, not, I'm sorry, the operations area, we can alert a person who's a VIP coming into the organization and alert someone within the admission staff. So a, a, lot, of great, a lot of great alerts and these are growing every day. Okay, so that's how you can be very proactive with TAM and the reporting and the alerts and dashboards, and that wraps up our session.